By now you've heard all about ChatGPT and how your kids are using it to cheat at school and how as a marketer you're out of a job because AI is going to do your job for you. And a lot of you are using ChatGPT to write your content for you to make your job easier, but I'm here to tell you you need to be very, very careful. Here's how to use it in a valuable and successful way. Hey everyone, I'm John Timmerman and I break down the coolest business sales and marketing strategies so that both you and I can grow our businesses together. Today we're talking about the now infamous chat GPT, the AI writer produced by OpenAI, as well as some of their other products, Dolly being another one that's an AI designer. AI is here. We use it at Good Monster. We use it for our clients and it's a valuable tool, but you have to be very careful. AI, it's a simple structure really, right? So all AI does is it takes existing content, compiles it into whatever the prompt asks it for, and it learns based on the feedback from that output. So we're at the early stages of AI in most people's definition, and that means it's using existing content. So ChatGPT is using existing content spread across the internet to create new content. So if you're thinking about writing a blog post, let's say, with ChatGPT, you simply go into ChatGPT, you write a prompt that says something like, write me a 1500 word article uh, in a witty voice about the future of sports in the metaverse. And then you can even expand upon that prompt saying, include quotes by prominent athletes about the topic, as well as some examples or case studies from other sports. You hit create and ChatGPT will start writing that article for you. It gets all the information from that article from existing articles. That's the key here to understand. Right now, that algorithm, ChatGPT, is scanning the entire internet to pull from resources, pull from sources to create a new version. So it might change the language pulled from a New York Times article, but it's using the same basic structure. So that's the concept. Sounds awesome, right? You don't have to do any work. You just write a prompt and then it writes it for you. But if your goal is SEO, if your goal is to rank high in Google, the problem is, number one, Google has made a statement. Several people inside of Google have already said that AI writing is technically categorized as spam because it is not original content, it's curated content, all right? And it's autonomous or automatically created curated content, which means they're looking actively for bots and, and content that is not written by a human and does not have authority or technical expertise that doesn't have a unique voice. So when Google's looking for these things and you're trying to rank a blog post in Google written by an AI writer, you risk Google finding out about that. Now, without a doubt, and even Google admitted that it's still not perfect. It's a it's a sort of game of cat and mouse to speak verbatim of what um, their representative said. That means that some of these AI blog posts will be ranked, but it's sort of like the early days of SEO where there was a ton of black hat tactics, keyword stuffing. It worked, but eventually Google caught up and uh, there's some very famous examples, JCPenney being one of them, where their entire website got shut down because of keyword stuffing and black hat tactics. JCPenney, if you are old enough or remember, was one of the biggest retailers in the United States, you know, 10 or 15, 20 years ago. Well, their entire website got taken down because of black hat tactics. Those tactics probably worked for a decade or five years or so, but eventually they got shut down. We're in the same sort of space now. You could probably get your blog post ranked using chat GPT or Jasper or any other AI writer out there. The problem is if your goal is longevity, then a year from now, probably not even that long, honestly, because the most advanced AI out there is produced by Google. In fact, some of the foundational language that was used to create JetGPT was created inside of Google. And OpenAI, which is the open source AI company that has built ChatGPT is also one of the investors or some of the investors came from Google or are inside Google, right? So they're supporting what ChatGPT is doing. And they're also one of the earliest to know all about what's going on. And without a doubt, inside their organization, they are figuring out ways to decipher what is an AI piece of content and what is a human piece of content. And I have high degree of certainty that they will figure it out. So here's how you want to use ChatGPT, because it is an extremely valuable tool for you as a marketer. You want to use it for inspiration. It's just like an artist or a painter. 
right? They go for a walk in nature or in a big city. They observe. They want inspiration. They're taking the inspiration from actual everyday real life. They're borrowing that thing that they saw, those colors that they saw, that scenery that they saw to create something. There's a saying like, there's nothing original in today's world, right? Something like that, right? Like there's nothing new anymore. Everyone has done everything. It's just iterations of those things. And that's what ChatGPT can do. The thing is it can just save you a load of time doing it. So instead of going and reading hundreds of blog posts and getting inspiration from articles and doing research, you can go into ChatGPT and you can write a prompt that says something like, write me a 500 word um, synopsis of five studies about how AI software is going to change the marketing world. And then hit pr go, write, and it will write those you know, those synopsis uh, or those overviews of those studies pulled from the internet. So it can save you time going and researching that content. And you can even expand that prompt even more, include data, statistics, real studies, and the sources that they came from. And it will pull those things in. So it can save you time. It can do that in a matter of minutes. And then you take that and then you go over here and you write your article based on that. You can still source the information. You can still make sure it's not plagiarized because you're writing it and expanding upon it, right? And you can even go back to the prompt and add testimonials or quotes from experts that you can add into your article as well. That's how you want to use ChatGPT in the most valuable way right now because it's the best of all worlds. You're saving so much time on the research side. You're letting AI do the research for you. You can even let AI format the structure of the article for you. We do this all the time in Jasper, jasper.ai. It's another AI tool, and we have it create outlines for blog posts or outlines for YouTube descriptions. We have it do some keyword research with a Surfer SEO plugin. It's a great tool. It's a great stack to be able to organize and get set up for writing a blog post and then we take that structure and then we have it write overviews of those titles or of those sections of the blog post right so we then expand and we say hey write me a one paragraph overview of this topic and then from there we'll put it over into google docs and then our writers will then expand upon that so ai super valuable to do research and foundational work for your content it is not valuable to actually write and publish your content right now because the risk is too high that six months, nine months, 12 months, 24 months from now, Google will have a vast software update, which mark my words, they will, which accounts for all of the AI content that all of you are trying to put out there to save time and cut corners. And they're going to blacklist. They're going to slap you on the back of the hand. They're going to shut down your websites, your clients' websites. It's going to be bad if you are completely relying on AI to do all of your SEO work. Man, I ended that on a dark note, didn't I? That was dark. But AI is good. AI is good for marketing. AI is good for the world until 10 years from now when we take an iRobot sort of turn. Let's hope that doesn't happen. But right now, AI can help you do your job better and faster. And that's the value of AI. Okay. So get out there and keep writing. Don't let AI take over your job because you don't need to. And it's probably not a good idea anyways. Until next time, thanks for watching. And remember, you can head over to my website, jtimmerman.com to get other resources like checklists of what you need to do to launch a product or um, how to write a good cold email subject line. All of these things are free over on my website, jtimmerman.com. We'll see you in the next video.